Tell me, how many of you consume meat or dairy products? Almost everyone. Globally, we consume around 300 million tonnes of meat and 800 million tonnes of milk annually from livestock. But just a handful of our 9,000 livestock breeds contribute towards the majority of this production. So why do we rely on so few breeds for production? Why is this bad for global food security? And how may we intervene to increase breed diversity? To address these questions, we have to understand the economic and technological drivers that have shaped our livestock sector. Back in the 1800s, thousands of breeds were used for commercial production. These reflected the different geographies of farm landscapes, and this diversity is important because it enables us to increase yield. In the 1900s, new technological infrastructure and transportation mechanisms meant we could disseminate genetic material from just a handful of top performing animals to farmers all around the world. Today, this is evident where around 90% of the UK dairy herd is Holstein Friesian genetics. Unfortunately, this has resulted in the decline of our native breeds and around 80% of the UK's native breeds are now at risk of extinction. But there are conservation schemes for the preservation of rare breeds. Could they be done differently? The answer is almost certainly yes. And it seems clear to start by exploring how these schemes could be made more cost effective. My economic models suggest we could conserve more diversity with the same conservation spending simply through better targeting of financial incentives. This means targeting certain types of farm system, certain farm species and specific breeds. By doing so, we can ensure investments in diversity are maximised relative to the cost of capital. Looking for the future, there are three key drivers that are likely to impact the future of livestock production. The need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, global population growth and climate change. Brexit creates an opportunity to modify rural policy and have more integrated and structured approaches to conservation. We therefore need to be clear how breed diversity will feature in the future fabric of our countryside. Thank you.